Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, my name's James. It's going to be a quick video on the simple OBJ exporter for Maya. Um, motivation behind this tool was pretty much getting your meshes out of Maya as fast as possible, um, whether that's to ZBrush or Blender or um, a baking program like XNormal or Substance Painter. Um, being OBJ, it has the beauty that it's it's a bit old school, but it's very. Uh, I think the beauty is is its simplicity. It's it's really I've found really easy to go between all sorts of applications without too much stress. Whereas some other stuff like FBX stuff, um, the FBX plugin for for ZBrush, for example, I've always had a bit of trouble with. So uh, yeah, it has batch functionality, so you can just sort of click and drag over a, a, a bunch of meshes and export them with one click. And yeah, pretty much just trying to get your stuff out of Maya as fast as possible. Um, so first things first, I'll go through the installation. Um, so first, we actually want to close Maya. And uh, we want that closed when we install the script here. So I've got the, uh, the zip file here off of Gumroad already. Um, it is available for free on Gumroad. If you haven't already grabbed it, I'll put a link in the description for you. Um, what I will actually do is just grab another window here. And um, what we'll do is jump to our Maya user configuration, which on Windows 10 um, is users, your username, uh, documents, Maya, and then the year. So I'm going to do mine in 2019. Um, I've been testing out, I've been testing out 2019 for a bit now, and you know every new Maya that comes out, it's bound to have a couple of bugs in it and, and stuff like that. But I haven't had too much trouble with 2019 yet, so I'm pretty much using that most days now. Um, so if you haven't seen this before, this is your sort of personal scripts folder. Um, Maya knows to look here for pretty much by default. So if you chuck any scripts in here, you can run them straight from Maya without having to map extra extra paths to your Python environment variable and all this sort of jazz. So um, that's where we're going to be putting the OBJ exporter. I'm just going to open this up. You see I've uh, sort of mirrored the layout here. There's also a readme, which you should definitely read through. Um, normally, I would say absolutely, but I'm kind of going through it all in this video, so it's probably up to you. So we're going to scripts and we're going to go into my scripts here and just select these guys and copy them in. And then we'll go prefs and go to my prefs. Grab the shelf here, shelves, copy that one in. Icons. You guessed it, icons. These are just two little um, icons I sort of knocked up in, in Photoshop to give something a bit different from... Maya's default um, default icons that come with it. I'm just going to start up Maya again real quick now. All right, so that's just finishing up there. Cool. So uh, as you can see up here, we've got a new shelf called OBJ Export Import. Um, so I've got the Export button here and the Import button here. Now, by default, I've given these Maya icons. Um, so basically, you can leave them as that if you want. You can change them to the icons we have. I couldn't put them to the icons I made by default um, or I, without doing quite a bit of work uh, because everybody's path is going to be different, of course. So we've got, this is the, I'm on the export button here. I've got the exporter shelf. Oh, let me just drag that over. So that one. And then we'll grab, oh, always opens on my other monitor. Just, just because we'll grab that one. Cool, so we save them. Um, now you could, if you wanted to leave it on your own sort of separate shelf here, um, you may have, I have sort of this shelf, my James tool shelf, which is what I have most times when I'm working. Um, I probably actually quickly, I just mentioned a quick shout out to, uh, Simon Fuchs. This is his, uh, this is sort of the shelf that he builds out during his military radio tutorial, um, which got me onto this kind of OBJ workflow of like saving out and replacing, uh, over the top of, of of uh, OBJ files, so highly recommend that tutorial. That's where a lot of this comes from. I use these tools pretty much every day now, so um, really worthwhile. I'm gonna move my buttons onto my custom shelf by just middle mouse dragging them like that. And then I'm probably actually gonna delete this shelf now because I no longer need it. Jump back over here and I want them to be down this end. So I'm just gonna middle mouse drag them here. I like them to match up sort of more with the, you know, Normally your I.O. sort of stuff is out here for your opening and saving and just kind of one of those things. Cool. So now we'll go through a quick example. I'll quickly just model up a, a quick little mesh. All 
All right, so here we have a nice little piece of junk. I'm gonna call it, mm, I'll call it my cube. That's, yeah, that's probably the least harmful thing. Um, all right, so we're ready now to basically just send this out to ZBrush or uh, sorry, to whatever I'm gonna be doing in ZBrush. I should stress that. Um, so once you've selected it, hit the export button. And cause we haven't actually exported anything yet. It's gonna come up for the first time with these options. So. If you wanted to ask the path before you save it out every time, triangulate it, move it to the origin. Maybe you've got a, a modular kit you're building out and you've got things sort of moved all over the place to for a bit of ease and you want them to be moved back to the origin. Um, and then these are OBJ specific options. So I'm gonna turn off everything except for groups and smoothing. Just that's how it works for my workflow. Yours will of course potentially be different. Um, and then we jump here to, I've basically jumped on the single OBJ export path here. Go to temp meshes. This is my folder I save my meshes out to. And I'm gonna call this Maya out. And that's gonna set the path for where my OBJ is gonna be saved out. There's also the batch OBJ export path here. Go back over here. I'll make a folder here. I'm gonna do a trim sheet as an example after this. So make a trim sheet folder. Uh, now select that. You'll notice that that was a folder selection instead of a sort of single file selection. Um, because uh, for the batch export, it, it puts them all the OBJs separately into a folder. Um, and yeah, cool. And now when we hit confirm, you'll see that it has successfully exported. So if I bring up a ZBrush over here. All right, so now we're in ZBrush. I'll just get rid of the light box real quick. Hit import and go to our C drive. Temp meshes, Maya out. Drag this monstrosity of a thing out. Oh, drag two out. First time using ZBrush, clearly. Uh, drag that out, hit T, and go into edit mode. So yeah, it's pretty much it's that easy. Um, I'll do a quick bit of something on this to you know, make the tutorial somewhat interesting. All right, so happy to report I have uh, successfully completely ruined this already awful thing. Um, I will just quickly group visible. Um, just on that actually, if you do intend to send something back from ZBrush, um, it will export each polygroup as a separate mesh. So when you bring the OBJ into Maya, you're gonna have like a lot of meshes depending on how your polygroups are. So just consider grouping visible if you're coming back from ZBrush. Uh, normally I'd probably decimate it or whatever, but Let's just go right ahead and export this subtool. I call this one ZBrush out. And then that's saved. We can jump back over to Maya. And then we just have to hit the import button. And you'll see, now we have a ZBrush out. Open that. And again, I only had to set, I only had to set it then because it was the first time I've done it. And now I've got this awful thing in here, but you know. If it wasn't so awful and it was actually something we wanted, we could then work on it from like that. Um, of course, the power is here. You're like, oh, whoops. I I, I realize now um, I actually wanted all this. You know, I wanted another, wanted another extrusion here because this thing isn't extrudy enough. And then you just basically do what you need to and then hit that button again. And then you jump back over to ZBrush and you import. There you go. Pow, it's there. Or vice versa, you realize when you brought it in, hey, I needed to really, I needed more trim dynamic on this. The trim isn't dynamic enough and I need to really just mush it out more. So you export and just back over here, hit this guy. And it's gonna eventually bring in another. So that's, that's basically the general idea behind it. One click in Maya does it. You don't have to worry about it. If you do want to change the settings after, just double click. Uh, double click on either of the shelves, the shelf buttons, I should say, um, to, to bring up those options again. All right, so now for a batch example, here is a trim sheet I blocked out uh, while I was doing Polygon Academy tutorial. Um, so you just have to select multiple, basically any selection more than one. Um, we'll put it into batch mode and then when you Click out, it'll uh, put it into that folder we said earlier. Remember, if you want to change it again, you can just double click. And then uh, let's jump over to ZBrush. Let's get rid of this. 
and go to import, trim sheet, trim A, drag this one out. And then in ZBrush, you can actually just use the uh, Subtool Master, multi append, select the other trim pieces. And there you are, away we go. And they're all come through as separate subtools. Um, they all have the names of which they were given when they're exported, um, which by the way is in batch mode, the name is what your mesh name is. Um, in normal mode, I guess singular mode, um, the, the name of the mesh will be whatever you set it to be in these settings here. But yeah, uh, obviously I was talking over the top of that, but that was crazy fast. And then you can do whatever and, and ruin that just like I ruined the other thing. And uh, just get some more of that. That's that's real good. I'm actually probably going to put that one straight in my portfolio. I'm not going to mess with you guys. That's pretty good. Uh, and then same sort of idea. You can just use the, let's say I was done, which I am. Uh, I think it's the export here. We'll export all of them for us. And again, I'm going to make a folder called Trim Sheet ZBrush Out. I probably should have done Trim Sheet Maya Out in hindsight, but I do Maya Out and ZBrush Out. So uh, you could just do the same one and keep on overriding it, but I do it this way just in case there's a little bit of redundancy there in case I blow something. And then that's going to export those ones for us. And then you just jump back over here, double click, and uh, jump to our, whoops, temp meshes, trim sheet, ZBrush out, select them all, bring them in. It's that easy. It's not actually that easy because I have to press the button again. Bring them in. It's that easy. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, you obviously just have to, anytime you want to change it, um, you can just reset it to you know, double clicking and resetting it. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, I found this really sped up going back and forth between programs. It really speeds up that sort of iteration. I'm a classic sort of um, block it all out, send it to ZBrush and realize I've made like six dumb mistakes. Um, so this really speeds up that whole process for me. Uh, I hope you have the same experience um, and, and it helps you out. If you have any any comments, any feedback, or you find any bugs, let me know. Uh, my email address is in the, uh, if we jump to the readme, email address is down here. It's just furlajames at gmail.com. Um, otherwise, you know, leave a comment on the video, hit me up on ArtStation, any of these things, and I'll get back to you and, and you know try and sort it out. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.